Hey guys, um, as you guys saw in a, a video, maybe two videos ago, um, I mentioned I had a family member who was sick. Um, it was my father. My father got sick about two years ago. He's had diabetes for a long time. Uh, I couldn't tell you how long, 10 or 20 years. He never really went and got diagnosed for it. It's just very obvious he has it. So I don't know how long he's had it, but about two years ago, he got an infection in his toe and he got gangrene, which typically without treatment kills you. So about two years ago, I went and I pulled, uh, I deadlifted 906 pounds. I made a video about it. And a lot of people watched it. It's one of my more popular videos. Um, at the time, he had lost the ability to walk. Um, he wasn't functioning properly. Uh, he couldn't do much for himself. Couldn't stand at all. Couldn't walk at all. And uh, I was pretty sure, pretty sure at the time he was going to die. Um, because he wasn't uh, getting treatment for it. But miraculously, um, he lost a part of his foot. It fell off. It rotted off and fell off. And he recovered. It healed. And a few months later, he started to walk again, slowly. But he lost a bunch of weight, and he started walking again. And that's incredible. I was shocked shocked. But about, uh, about three weeks or so ago, he had another problem with his foot. Uh, he, got, uh, he got an infection in his foot and again it turned into gangrene. And uh, this time he wasn't fortunate enough for it to heal. Um, it did not heal. It only got worse. And uh, he went septic. He, he went, um, basically his body started poisoning itself. And today, today is uh, May 9th, 2016. Today was the first day, 25 years ago, that I met my father. Today's my birthday. And I found out today that he died. It's, it's a shame that more people didn't know him for the type of person he was. It's a shame that someone like him wasn't given the opportunity to make videos and share their knowledge with people and have people say nice things about them. But I can tell you guys a little bit about him. Um, my father grew up in a religious household. His father was a minister, his mother was a minister's wife, and he grew up very religious. And in their religion, they didn't believe in getting typical treatments from doctors. If you need stitches, sure. If you have a broken bone, sure. But um, things like antibiotics, for example, isn't something he agreed with. Uh, or surgery, depending on the type of surgery, stuff like that. It's not something they agreed with in their religion. They believed you trust in God. Um, he met my mother. Um, he was in his 20s. My mother was in her teens. And uh, they had five children together. Uh, my mother didn't work. Uh, my father always supported her. He, when he was young, he worked a regular job. He worked at Denny's. Uh, he um, was a cook for a long time. And then he started opening up restaurants four Denny's because he knew how to do it and um, he developed a very very strong work ethic uh, he developed the skills to work with a team of people I don't know if you know this but cooking is not easy when you cook for a restaurant you have to you have to be very in touch with the people you're cooking with and he developed uh, people skills he developed skills in working with teams and he went on to uh, be a salesman and he was um, a very good salesman, a very good salesman. Um, he got awards for selling the most in his, you know, company, stuff like that. Uh, one of the top salesmen for uh, a big healthcare company, uh, United Healthcare, which he eventually continued to move up in and eventually became very successful in what he did. 
Um, so fortunately, my father was a successful guy. And he taught me and my brother and my mother to be very good with money. Um, he taught us morals. Morals that he would never give up on. There's, he has a moral code that you, that's it. He knows the right thing and he does the right thing. He doesn't, doesn't lie, he doesn't cheat, he doesn't steal for no reason ever. And he's willing to die for his beliefs. And he did. He died for his beliefs. And it is a shame. It is a shame. Um, but, in a strange way, I'm very proud of him for what he accomplished, for the life he lived. He was a very good person. He took very, very good care of my mother. She never had to work. My mother, obviously, for those of you who know, and my father lost multiple children as I was growing up, and it was very, very hard on them. And through the process, my mother became mentally ill, schizophrenic. And so my father had a lot on his plate. I was doing very poorly in school growing up. I was getting kicked out a lot. I was getting arrested for various little things, fights, weed, whatever. And he had lost multiple children, some recently. And my mother at the time was going crazy. And my father never gave up. He never gave up on me. He never gave up on my brother. He never gave up on my mother. He never found another wife or another girlfriend after they got divorced. My mother divorced him because she stopped believing they were married. And he still took care of her. She got alimony and she got money. And she still lived in his house. He still took care of her. Still did everything for her, even though... They lived like they were separate. They lived separately in the same house. At many points in my life, I've wished I could have the same character he had. And I don't think it will ever happen. I don't think I will ever run into anyone quite like him. There are not many people who are willing to die for what they believe is right. There are not very many people who can lose three children and keep going. There are not very many people who wouldn't give up on me. I was a fuck up when I was young. Fuck up. Terrible in school, terrible outside of school, rebellious. And he never gave up on me. He, uh, I got kicked out of school one year. They wouldn't let me back into any school and he homeschooled me. And it was not easy for him. He did not know how to teach someone. He was not a teacher. But he tried. And he helped me. And that's something a lot of parents can't do when they work full time. They don't have time to homeschool you too. Not while dealing with a, you know, crazy spouse or depression from children, whatever. I hope I'll see more people like my dad in this world. I'm not sure I will. He's the one person I could always trust, I could always rely on, I could always call for help. He always had the answers, he always had the support, he was always there. There was no time of day or night that he would not help that I couldn't go over to his house and talk to him. There was no place he would not go to get me if I was stuck somewhere. There was nothing he would not do for me and my brother and my mother. And he lived his entire life for us. He didn't drink, he didn't smoke, he didn't fuck around with girls, he didn't party. He watched Judge Judy in the afternoons and he worked, and he ate cheaply. And he did that so he would have stability to take care of a family that couldn't take care of themselves. And now, me and my brother can take care of ourselves, and we can take care of my mother.
We're old enough. We have jobs. We have money. We have wisdom. We're not kids anymore. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm 25 today. I feel like a kid a little bit, but I'm not. And people say to be strong, but the truth is, you only have the option to be strong because when you don't have anyone to fall back on, that is your only choice. I can't give up. No one will save me. I can't fall down. No one will pick me up. And until you lose the support system you have, you don't really know what that feels like. But now I'm there. I have a brother who's like me, who's a kid, basically. We're fucking kids. Feels like it. We were kids yesterday. We were kids a few years ago, I swear. Now we're adults. And we understand taxes, and we understand work, and we understand renting a place to live and car insurance. We understand all the shit that I didn't understand when I was a kid and I needed my parents. For those of you who did know my dad, and maybe some of them are watching this, you know what type of person he was. You know he would never do anything wrong to anyone. You know he lived by a very strong moral code. He was a very fair person, a very wise person. And now, he will never have to lose another kid. He will never have to lose a wife, a brother, a parent, a friend. Now he doesn't suffer anymore. You did it, Dad. My father believed this life was a test. That it wasn't the important life. It wasn't so important that we had to... He believed that this life was for a purpose, to turn us into the people who we will be someday with God. That this wasn't the important life, that eternal life was the important life. If that's true, you did it, Dad. If that's true, you did it. You made it through everything. If, if heaven is real and people People can look back someday, and they can see this kind of thing. I love you, Dad. You were the best father you knew how to be. We're going to take care of Mom. And we're going to be just fine.